A new era for Xiaomi. In a bold and ambitious move, Xiaomi has officially joined the ranks of tech giants like Apple, Google, and Samsung by unveiling its first ever in-house mobile chipset, called the Zring Zero One. This major announcement was made at Xiaomi's 15th anniversary event, a celebration that marked not just a milestone in years, but a pivotal turning point in the company's technological journey. For years, Xiaomi has been known for offering high-spec devices at competitive prices, but now it's aiming much higher towards chip-level innovation, ecosystem control, and next-gen performance. And the Zring Zero One is their answer. Xiaomi joins the Custom Silicon Club. Apple has long set the benchmark for Custom Silicon with its A-Series and M-Series chips. Google followed with its Tensor chips, and Samsung has been pushing Exynos for years. While results have varied, one thing is clear, companies that build their own chips hold the key to tighter integration between software and hardware. Now, Xiaomi wants in. With the Zring Zero One, Xiaomi is no longer just assembling phones, it's engineering them from the inside out. This marks a strategic evolution from being just a hardware manufacturer to becoming a platform-driven tech powerhouse. Manufactured by TSMC, built for performance and efficiency. The Zring Zero One is manufactured by TSMC, Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company, the same chip founder responsible for Apple's market-leading processors. But Xiaomi didn't settle for anything average. The Zring Zero One uses TSMC's second-generation 3 nanometers process, a cutting-edge fabrication technology that provides two huge benefits. Enhanced performance, thanks to denser and more powerful transistors. Improved power efficiency, meaning longer battery life for the end user. This process makes Zring Zero One one of the most advanced chips currently available in the mobile market. Beast Mode, 10-core CPU and 16-core GPU. Let's talk specs. The Zring Zero One features a 10-core CPU, which is notably more than what most mobile processors offer. While the core breakdown hasn't been officially detailed yet, this setup is likely designed to balance high-performance tasks and power efficiency. But what's even more exciting is the 16-core Immortalis G925 GPU, one of ARM's latest high-end graphics processors. This GPU supports hardware-based ray tracing, ultra-high frame rates, and better thermal efficiency. Together, the CPU and GPU make the Zring Zero want a performance powerhouse on paper. Whether it's intensive mobile gaming, 4K video editing, or AI-driven tasks, this chip is clearly built to handle it all. Two flagship devices powered by Zring Zero One. Xiaomi isn't just unveiling a chip, it's already putting it to work in two brand new flagship devices, the Xiaomi 15's Pro Smartphone and the Xiaomi Pad 7 Ultra Tablet. Xiaomi 15's Pro Smartphone. A premium phone with a 2K OLED display. A 50MP triple camera setup for advanced photography. A massive 6,100 milliamp hours battery. Supports 90W wired and 50W wireless charging. Fully dust and water resistant with an IP68 rating. Runs on Xiaomi's HyperOS 2, based on Android 15. Comes with up to 16 gigabytes of lpddr 5 t RAM and 1 terabyte UFS 4.1 storage. This device is aimed squarely at the high-end market competing with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Xiaomi Pad 7 Ultra Tablet, a large 14-inch display with ultra-thin bezels, built for entertainment and productivity, packs a huge 12,000 mAh battery, also includes up to 16 GB RAM and 512 GB storage. Targeted to compete with Apple's iPad Pro and Samsung's Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. Both devices exclusively feature the Zring Zero One and are, for now, available only in China, with no official word yet on global launch plans. HyperOS 2 and Ecosystem Synergy Another major advantage of owning your own chip is the ability to optimize your software around it. Xiaomi's latest operating system, HyperOS 2, based on Android 15, is designed to take full advantage of the Zring Zero One's capabilities. Expect faster response times, smoother multitasking, more advanced AI and ML features, tighter cross-device integration, 
This kind of synergy is exactly what made Apple's iOS plus A slash M chip combo so successful. Xiaomi is clearly betting big on ecosystem-driven performance. Why custom chips matter? The big picture? So why is Xiaomi's Ring Zero One such a big deal? Because having a custom chip enables deeper hardware software optimization, allows better battery life management, ensures faster updates and longer software support, helps Xiaomi build a tight-knit ecosystem of phones, tablets, smartwatches, and potentially even laptops in the future. It also reduces dependency on third-party chip suppliers like Qualcomm and MediaTek, giving Xiaomi greater control over its innovation pipeline. Can Xiaomi succeed where others struggle? While Apple has consistently dominated the custom chip game, Google and Samsung have faced challenges. Google's Tensor chips have been criticized for efficiency issues. Samsung's Exynos has seen performance gaps compared to Snapdragon counterparts. So the big question is, can Xiaomi avoid these pitfalls? So far, the Zring Zero One looks impressive on paper, and Xiaomi's execution, from manufacturing to optimization, appears thoughtful and aggressive. But only real-world performance tests and long-term reliability will determine whether Xiaomi can truly match or exceed its rivals. Conclusion A new chapter for Xiaomi begins. With the Zring Zero One, Xiaomi is no longer just another Android phone maker. It's stepping into a new arena, one dominated by control, customization, and convergence. If this chip lives up to its potential, it could redefine Xiaomi's position in the global tech landscape, pushing it beyond affordability into the realm of innovation leadership. This might just be the beginning of a new Xiaomi, one that's building its future from the silicon up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this deep dive into Xiaomi's biggest announcement in years. What do you think of the Zring Zero One? Will it challenge Apple and Qualcomm? Let us know in the comments below.